country more free to do something about corruption, about poverty, uh, to establish peace, uh, and to do all these other things that he has put in his social contract. Well, the panel discussion will be about those issues. I think there is another responsibility that LP has as a party, and that is to use these next three years to strengthen itself as a party uh, and to strengthen its, its structures, the way it works. Us or provide some policy framework in terms of managing our natural resources, particularly the national land use policy. And this is something that we need to discuss with our local counterparts, with our governors and our mayors. I think we need to vigorously pursue our party building activities, more so in making sure that we arrive at certain levels of consensus, both within Congress, both within the local institutions where we are, to be able to say Liberal Party stands for certain principles and certain programs that we are undertaking both in our work in Congress and our colleagues at the local government level. Uh, it's, I think, a wonderful time to regroup and uh, celebrate, as Jules said, celebrate our victories in the Liberal Party, but also already start thinking about the challenges that face us. We are able to show that the political party uh, really brings down benefits to them, long-term benefits that will improve their lives, not just give them money today, but really improve their lives by giving them some training, giving them productive jobs, uh, really improving the health system so they can actually have uh, health care, um, improving the education system so they are now at par with the students in, public, in private schools. Then, matadama nila, yung sinasabi nila, kailangan na nilang madama yung uh, beneficiary ng gobyerno. And if the Liberal Party can do this between now and 2016, uh, for as many uh, people as possible, our, our fighting target is, uh, what is it? Is it? Two or four million votes. <laughs> is to get uh, to uh, expand our influence, especially in the grassroots, so that we can actually uh, deliver or actually recruit uh, party, car carry party members among our sectors and also deliver votes. No? The president has brought pride back to the Filipinos. In our case, that is also what we did. That is why we have our theme. It's called uh, Dakbanwa sa Iloilo, or the city of Iloilo, my city, my pride. After the employees had a good uh, workplace, they started delivering good outputs. And so processing time was uh, when we first started business permits were about uh, 10 months. It took 10 months before they would take business permits when I showed up. Now, um, the first year, we, turned, we brought it down to 15 days. Uh, the second year, my, uh, my uh, term, uh, we brought it to down to three days. And uh, now, it's uh, 30 minutes. So, that is, of course, we have to So, here I come again as the lone member of the Liberal Party aspiring for all of these opportunities and how do I convince a very traditional politician to support our program? So we belong to the coalition of the LDP, Adelante Zamboaga, and the Liberal Party. And guess what? This sign became a very acceptable sign to Mayor Lubricat and he's the one who now says, Kung walang korab, walang mahira. There is a paradigm shift that is made possible because of our continued persistence in what we talk about justice. Now, we do know of, of that is. Those who are smaller than that is.